people. There's only one word you can use to describe this, Dale. Yes, really cool. That's two words, Dale, but thanks for playing. front yard. Well, Dale, looks like the new competitor's lost his license already. Hello, is this thing on? Hello? Thanks for the feedback, Dale. your driving license back, you have to unlock the speed demon inside of you, SpongeBob. Stay shiny, little fella. I'm coming to get ya. Now that you're on foot, come over here and I can tell you a few more things. You'll need to jump over that gap to get to me. Turn it as fast as you can, boy! Work those crazy arms! <laughs> Don't forget your seatbelt. I heard you were out of the race. Don't forget your seatbelt. and you need to jump higher and farther. Try it now. 
Great work, SpongeBob. You really got the hang of this. That's good. You'll need to put those pants of yours to work if you want to push that button. You made it, SpongeBob! Well done! Here you go! I think you'll find this little dash attack power-up will come in very handy for getting your license back. Use the dash attack to push that spark block into its slot, and you'll find what it is you seek. Use your dash to push it, SpongeBob. My goodness, you're becoming one of my best pupils. So our youngest competitor is ready for his first real challenge, Dale. Should be interesting, Rick. Interesting. Like grappling with an angry octopus, Dale. Starfish versus Spun, a true battle of the undersea type. A true battle indeed, Rick. It's the truest of true. Best friends battling to see who's the best. Three, two, one, That's go! Right. What's up, Starfish? Bikini Bottom sure looks different these days. Eat my 
Come on, baby! <laughs> Bikini Bottom sure looks good for these days. Check out my wheel! <laughs> Smashing a competitor's car, Dale, is that against the rules? There aren't any rules, Rick. Reminds me of my first marriage, Dale. <laughs> I can't find some parts lying around to fix up my car. These guys aren't just gonna let me come and rummage around, so I better brush up on my skills. Oh, uh, wasn't me. You'll have to defend yourself on Bob. Use your sand slap attack against them. Bad guys, meet my SpongeBob fists of fury! Well, 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 what do we have here? I have absolutely no idea. You should use your sponge lunge against big meanies like this. Stun him before going into the knockout. Don't forget, you can stun him with your dash attack. Use your dash attack first, SpongeBob.
you're becoming one of my best pupils. It's just what every sponge's supercar needs. Lankin's known to be a tough competitor, Dale. Absolutely, Rick. Better keep our eyes on this race. I never get distracted, Dale. Hey, Pebble. A sponge, a starfish, and a plankton. Who could ask for more than that? I certainly couldn't, Rick. It's a classic lineup for a race. Three, two, one, Has go! Not! Do you really think you're a match for me? Speed! 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 What's Patrick's house doing down here, baby? <laughs> You'll never win in a million years! Must have more speed! He seems to be collecting turbos. Could be tricky. Especially since the great turbo drought of 04, Rick. Those were the days. <laughs> All you need to do to beat Gary is to soup up your engine with a few new parts. I'm sure there are some places around here that you haven't explored. Win this one for us! Okay, SpongeBob. I know I'm going to regret saying this, but you've also got the ability to... Swing through the air. If you stand in the right place, you'll be able to cross gaps that you never knew you could.
Get your car fitted out with some more special parts, and you can use speed boosts around the track. Goodness, you're becoming one of my best pupils. You're becoming one of my best pupils. Get those pants working, SpongeBob. Bounce the button. Trying to block me off, huh? But no one can stop Speed King Squarepants. Use your dash to push it, SpongeBob. to slot K. Mm-hmm. My goodness, you're becoming one of my best pupils. Biggest and most shiny thing I have ever seen. 
Use the dash attack to push that spark block into its slot, and you'll find what it is you seek. Slide part A into slot K. Look at her. 
friend right now, huh? Hey. Can't we be pals? Oh, I guess not. My goodness, you're becoming one of my best pupils. Gary, eh? Things are really heating up now, Dale. That's why I'm wearing my fireproof underpants, Rick. See? I really didn't need to see that. Is that a snail up there? Yes, Rick, it is. Or perhaps someone cleverly disguised as a snack. Well, everything looks normal, except nothing looks the same as it used to. Watch out for that gas. You'll 
have to find a way to turn it off or avoid it. Think you're tough? Don't do that! You big meanie! <gasps> Ow! Starfish man, there's no way across. <laughs> you again. And there's that phone again, too. Why, why? <laughs> Look at it spin. <laughs> Are you a goon or a minion? No, me. Now the whole world trembles before my magnificent visage. My perfect penis! Hello, Starfish Man here. Who's calling, please? It's me, Starfish Man. I'm the only one who ever calls. Oh, yeah. Dreaded Patrick's posters are plastered all over town. Use your blow attack to remove them. <laughs> Stick them up, Dreaded Patrick. And Starfish Man knocks them down. <laughs> no paper can match my might. <laughs> Look at it spin! Do you know that your supercharge will allow you to break through weak paper walls? Handy, huh? Power of the Starfish! The people of this street will no longer have to look at your ugly face! Hey, wait! Watch the timing of the gas, Starfish Man. You'll never catch me, you five-pointed imbecile. Hi there, Starfish Man's boutique and store. Starfish Man, blow on all the tall things in this area, and they'll spin round. Why would I want to do that? They're concealing something. Spin them all around and you'll find out. Ooh, mysterious. And exciting! Pointed fathead. Let's see how you handle these. Huh? I see you defeated my minions, Starfish Man. No matter, you won't defeat me. Begin. Oh, there's that ringing. It must be coming from close by. Oh, hello, phone guy. I'm a sorry. You're having the wrong number. No problem. <laughs> Huh? Hello? Hello, Starfish Man. One more thing I need to tell you about. Every time you see one of these tabs, you will be able to pop up some useful stairs. Go on, try it out. Well, thank you, phone guy. What do we have here? <laughs> Last time I ran out of wall, Squidward laughed at me. 
But it'll be different this time. <laughs> Hello, phone dude. Starfish man. Next, you need to learn to use your hot and cold ability. The nearer you get, the hotter you'll be. If you go far away, then you'll get colder. Oh, hunter! You're not so mean. Starfish Man, can our caped hero save the day? How can Starfish Man hope to defeat his evil schemes? Why am I asking so many questions? Oh no, that poor man. He's on the train tracks and he's... Oh, naked! I must stop the train and get him dressed. But how? Excuse me, don't you have super strength? Hey, good idea! Think you can stop a train? You can't even stop a cold! No Drat it! Starfish man! Ooh, ooh, that well, aren't you gonna thank me? Well, I don't see why I should. I'm still in peril. Well, but the train stopped. Well, I know, but can't you see I'm naked? I'm not going anywhere without my clothes. Never fear, naked citizen. I, Starfish man, shall find your clothes, and you will be embarrassed no more! No time for window shopping. There are clothes to find. That guy has got good taste. Where are he shops? pieces of my outfit, or I'm not going anywhere. Starfish man, coming at you. 
This neighborhood needs to be cleaned up. These villains are giving it a bad day. What is this place? Why are there pictures and statues of dreaded Patrick everywhere? Why did that door shut behind me? So you found your way to the dreaded Patrick Employment Fair. Perhaps you'd like to meet my new recruits. <laughs> Citizens of this town have to put up with your evil ways. You haven't seen the last of me, Starfish Man. <laughs> Look, it's the last piece of that man's outfit. Dreaded Patrick had it the whole time. I better get this lot back to him. <laughs> Starfish man, you're back! And with my outfit! Thank you, oh thank you! All in a day's work, my friend. Now you look after your clothes more carefully in the future. We're so glad to see you, Starfish man. The whole town's been overrun with dreaded Patrick's goons. We need you to clean up the town, and quickly! Sorry, urgent mayoring to be done. I'll see you when you've cleaned up the town! Oh, clean up the town, eh? What I need is laundry detergent. Lots and lots of laundry detergent! Boy, oh boy, the mayor's gonna be pleased with me! Clean as a whistle in no time. <laughs> this town is gonna sparkle and shine once I'm done. Bye bye, Patty. Whiter than white? <laughs> Sounds like it'll do the job. Here you go, Mayor. I've collected all this laundry detergent. Now we can clean up the town together. What are you talking about, Starfish Man? You've already taken care of dreaded Patrick's goons. Thanks for your help. Must go, places to go, things to do. Well, what am I gonna do with all this laundry detergent? <laughs> That doesn't matter. I dare you to find my secret lair and have a showdown. <laughs> Spring, right there. Starfish man, prepare for a showdown? Yes, for a showdown. But I wanted to send you. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Starfish Man has arrived at the dreaded Patrick's ultra-secret lair. What does the arch-villain have in store for our intrepid hero? Has dreaded Patrick decorated his lair with purple or view stripes? The plot thickens. Oh, Starfish Man, so glad you made it. You're just in time to see the culmination of my evil plan. <laughs> Look up there, 
and you'll see that our pointy friend here is about to become Bikini Bottom's first fish in space. These guys are always getting themselves into scrapes, and look who has to save them. Me. You'll have to beat me there first, Pinky. Let's go, Mr. Elevator. Good thing I'm wearing my despiculator. It's just a freeze ray, dear. I invented it so I get to name it. And I name it the despiculator. Oh. <laughs> Bikini Bottom is lively these days. Chased by the very penny that I sought to catch. Uh, the sweet, depressing irony. Your bouncing seems so undignified. You seem to be being chased by a giant patty. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sometimes you sleep. And if I'm very careful, I can gather together my important equipment without him seeing me. Okay, that was a bit too close. Another one to add to the collection. Okay, that was a bit too close. That was a close one. Too close for me. I thought he had me for sure. Undignified though it is. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a quiet town famed for its fine eateries, its calm atmosphere, and for that, uh, thing on the left there. I don't know what that is. Uh, let us ignore it, huh? Will this patty ever cease to howl me? <laughs> This is getting silly. You seem to be being chased by a giant patty. Curse my tiny arms! <laughs> And if I'm very careful, I can gather together my important equipment without him seeing me. I thought he had me for sure. I thought he had me for sure. Should be more cautious next time. That was a close one. I thought he had me for sure. Many industries are found in Bikini Bottom, including the Jellyfish Milking Factory, the Cross Station Annoying Facility, and Anchovies R Us Corporate Headquarters. You won't 
Catch me now! I've got to get this door open before that Patty bashes his way through! What did I ever do to him? Here he comes! Oh no, he's almost inside! Can he ever cease to hound me? I command you to stay back! I'm very careful. I can gather together my important equipment without him seeing me. Can't let that happen. Don, you Don thing! That was a close one. Close for me. Can't let that happen. Too close for me. Last. I can't see this working out. Bikini Bottom has a long, proud, and noble history of sporting events at its stadium. Well, except for that incident with the rabid shrimp. Let's not talk about that, huh? Will this patty ever cease to hound me? with the Bikini Bottom Particles about to win their first game ever. The only thing that could ruin it for them would be if the game was somehow disrupted by a chase involving a giant food stuff. Yes, and what are the chances? Would you look at that? And yet, I just gave confirmation that the Barnacles have lost, and that continues their 76-year losing streak. Curse this poor quality workmanship. 
I'm very careful. I can gather together my important equipment without him seeing me. No rats. me for sure. Okay, that was a bit too close. Things were easier when I was small. Bikini Bottom has many sites of historical importance. There's that place with the uh, thing, and there's uh, that other thing, and... Oh, who am I kidding? Nothing ever happens in Bikini Bottom. Hey, I can see my mare from here. Hello, my mare. He's coming to get me. That'll teach you. Nothing stop that rampaging patty.
smashing. Watch out, barriers! Mercy! Even the floor holds no safety in the town. The anatomy of a worm contains several distinct chambers, including the digestive tube, the pharynx, and those wiggly little bits on the end there. Digesting going on. We're respectable folks. I just ask all the people who live down here. They're nice people. If you don't mind the smell. I can't live in here. It's moist and slimy. I absorb moist sliminess. I've got to get out of here. Oh, then you'll need this. I've been building this here flying machine all by the lonesome. Only need to get a few more bits and then she's ready to go. If you help me, I'll give you a lift out of here. What other bits do you need? Details, details. Smart little whippersnapper like you will have no trouble working it out for yourself. Go talk to the chief of the castaways. I'm sure he'll have something for you. No time to waste, boy. Go to the chief.
Always return a favor. told of a hero who'd come and rescue us. Nice work, yellow guy. You're on my Christmas card list. Nice work, yellow guy. Thanks, 
little sponge. Unless she's guarded, of course. Then it'll take longer. This world is full of intrigue and wonderment. My wife, please. No, seriously, you can take her. Don't you want her to stay here? No, it turns out she's not as pretty, pretty as I thought. But she's always been a fine companion and would make a fine addition to a building project. Failing that, there's the old junk pile. You're sure to find something in that lucky dip. Okay, SpongeBob, you can rummage around in the junk pile for plain parts. Just make sure you put the right colored junk in the right colored buckets. It's like tidying up, only fun. Whoopsie, sorry, Mr. Inventor. That's not right! Keep up the good work, boy! Uh, barnacles! Wrong bucket! Now we're talking! Uh, barnacles! Wrong bucket! Good SpongeBob, keep going. Whoopsie! Sorry, Mr. Inventor. It's like tidying up. Only fun. No, that's not right. Keep up the good work, boy. It's like tidying up. Only fun. Okay, maybe I'll have to try that. It's a little-known fact that bullworms play host to a variety of species, including crustaceans, small fish, and slimy things that go, Ick! 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 Good going, SpongeBob! That looks mighty functional, unlike my family. The big cheese said his wife was always supportive. 
What now? Is that enough stuff? Can we take off now? Please? Please? Sorry, SpongeBob, it ain't that simple. The bird ain't fixed up yet. There's an inventor lives nearby. You should talk to him. Well, you must be SpongeBob SquarePants. Wow, that is amazing. How did you know that? Mind reading device, right? A secret sponge sonar. No, no, tiny flying spy machine. No, I just had a call from the chief on what we call a telephone. I'm sorry, but I can't help you at the moment. I've got troubles of my own. What's wrong? Oh, SpongeBob can make it all better. Creatures stole my free jellyfish power cells. I hate those creatures. And just as I was about to activate my greatest invention. I'd sure like to see that. How's about I go get those three power cells for you? Then we go me find stuff for my plane? Sounds like a good deal. Could be tricky, though. The monsters have locked themselves away with the cells in my workshops. Don't worry. I'll work it out as I go. I've got a very good feeling about this. Young fellow! 
Put your back into it! We're talking! Whoopsie! Sorry, Mr. Inventor! Uh, 
Barnacle's Pong Bucket. No, that's not right. Keep up the good work, boy. No, that's not right. Junk in the buckets, piece of cake. Barnacles, long bucket. No, that's not right. Whoopsie, sorry, Mr. Inventor. No, that's not right. Keep up the good work, boy. The interior chambers of a bullworm are highly sensitive and are easily upset by parasites and spicy food. They quite like toast, though. That's a fine, fine prop, SpongeBob. You done good. Okay, thanks, old man Jenkins. Can we leave now and get out of this place? Huh? Huh? Sorry, SpongeBob. It ain't that simple. Something's got this here worm belly all fired up. That's why these gut juice levels are so high. That happens to me when I eat sea cucumbers. If someone was to find out why and sort it out... Oh, hello! Oh, me! I... yes. Never fear. SpongeBob to the rescue! Uh, which way was it to the rescue again? Towards, uh... How should I put this delicately? The rear. We're in danger of being involved in a major... Oh, it's no use! No one is gonna save us! We're trapped here forever! Hark! I hear the sounds of trapped villagers.
the nefarious chili can that's causing all these problems. Now, how can I get over there? is full of intrigue and wonderment. Missed that one! No, that's not right! Junk in the bucket, piece of cake! Uh, barnacles, long bucket! That's not right! Whoopsie! Sorry, Mr. Inventor! That's good, SpongeBob! Keep going! Whoopsie! Sorry, Mr. Inventor! It's like tidying up! Only fun! Whoopsie! Sorry, Mr. Inventor! That's not right! Whoopsie! Sorry, Mr. Inventor! That's good, SpongeBob! Keep going! Uh, barnacles! Long bucket! No, that's not right! Hmm, I wonder who that belongs to. Why are all these hoops in space? Must be for a reason. Still tied to this rocket. If I can wiggle my foot, I might be able to steer it. What I'd love right now is a crappy patty. A big, giant, delicious patty. But that one... But who's the pickle? Dead the laser beams! Some new cushions, some new drapes. Would be a nice place. Where am I now? It seems so obvious now. I'll hide in here and I'll be safe. I should probably stop talking now. Thank <laughs> you. 
that was strange. Oh well, back to flying through space tied to a rocket. Patrick defend the space station from a destructive hail of asteroids? Did you know that Latin for starfish is Asteroidia? Could this be an amazing coincidence? Flying around with the wind in my hair. Except there's no wind. And I've got no hair. Let's try that again. Let's destroy more pillars. Another door, huh? Let's try that again. Another door, huh? How do I get out of here? Lie through the hoops. Fly like you've never flown before. I have never flown before. I'm king of the hoop flying. to open the door. Are you sure you don't mind? Nah, I don't even know why we got them in the first place. You know how it is. You're shopping for rugs, you see a nice energy crystal. You think that would look nice, but when you get it home, you've just got nowhere to put it.
This doesn't look good. You're the money, big creature! Another one. Oh, I remember. Shoot the butt. against a mutated, angry, fast food product. What would SpongeBob do? I know! Take off his wings! It's Patrick, head to head, versus the crabby, patchy UFO! Hold on to your quantum destabilizers, folks! My quantum destabilizer destabilized once. Well, actually, it just went... <laughs> That's what you get when you mess with Space Patrick! So long, Wing! Space is safe once more! Thanks, Timmy! I'll just... Let's see if I can cause some good old-fashioned mayhem. Starting with those infernal dwellings over there. My atomic-powered eye sees their abodes perfectly. Now, Karen, anything special I should know about my transformation? Initial scans report increasing size. Well, duh. Increased physical strength. Very good. And ability to fire an atomic destructo ray from your eye. Excellent! Now let's cause some mayhem! <laughs> How deliciously exciting! I shall render more destruction to the patrons of that drive-in movie theater! Ticket, please. I'm a 50-foot atomic-powered plankton! You still need a ticket. Confound you! With your ticket booth and your unbending rules! There must be a ticket around here somewhere.
I put this? Smash the bikini bottom defense force to smithereens? <laughs> no one can stand in my way. Now they should have no rallying point in their continually bothersome exploits. Precipitated rampage rages right through Bikini Bottom. Stay tuned for more awesome alliteration antics. Look it up, kids. You can't hide forever, Mr. Patty. I'll destroy the whole building to get to you. You'll soon be mine, Krabby Patty. I'm in the destruction room now. I'm gonna get you if it's the last thing I do! You won't get away from me this time! I sure love smashing things up! You can't win, Patty! I'm unstoppable! The dirt, the grime, it reminds me of the jump bucket. You've got your eye beam thingy. Why don't you use it on those pylons? Construction. Got it. Now for the other. Oh, there it goes. Come back here. Further mayhem. Here we go.
commercial rival? Now let's see how they cope with a hostile takeover! stations. Destroy! Precipitated rampage rages right through Bikini Bottom. Stay tuned for more awesome alliteration antics. Look it up, kids. There it is, the pack. I can flush him out. No, not here. I'll destroy the whole building to get to you. No, not here. I'm gonna get you. Last thing I do! You won't get away from me this time! You soon be mine, Krabby Patty! You won't get away from me this time! Come here, you petty patty! I'm in the destruction group now! I'll destroy the whole building to get to you! I sure love smashing things up. Come here, you pesky patty. This is your pilot speaking. Prepare for extreme excitement!
If you don't have a hat, get one. possibly escape. SpongeBob dives into the Bikini Bottom sewers. Will he escape Plankton? And what is that smell? The sewers. Yuck! Well, at least it's not a worm belly again. Quick! Shoot it! Jellyfish! Oh, if only I had my neck. Nothing can stop me now. Hey, Sponge Fool! Why don't you just give up? There's no one left to help you. No one left at all. <laughs> it's the end of the King's Bottom as we know it! Let's go! 
A dead mollusk could fly this thing better than you. I refuse to lose. Go down! So close! You run, that's my patty! Quick, shoot! Cease your incessant flying around! I can't look! There's no stopping me. You're finished, SpongeBob. With the pressure mounting to stratospheric levels, SpongeBob concocts a cunning plan. He'll lead the rampaging plankton away from Bikini Bottom, and in doing so, save the innocent people from a fate worse than Plankton. Plankton situation is escalating enormously, and our heroes are forced to change their plan. They head into a construction yard to face giant plankton and the sheer unimaginable horror of the extended coffee break.
Just maybe, SpongeBob can lead the beast out of the city. Will he be able to escape the rampaging plankton? Probably not. It didn't work last time. Ooh, look at the pretty lights. Continues his chase through the streets of Bikini Bottom. Will our heroes manage to escape? And will the chase ever end? I hope not. I get paid by the word, you know. I'm gonna get you, SpongeBob! I never realized Plankton had such a big eye. Curse your square pants! We're gonna get smashed! Do you know what I've been through to catch that patty? It used to be so peaceful around here. Watch your old head, old man Jenkins! Give me back my patty, you irksome sponge!
This is it. Finally, it's SpongeBob versus Plankton in a pitched battle here in Bikini Bottom. Will our heroes bring Plankton crashing to the ground, or will they just annoy him a bit? It's going to be the second one, isn't it? I don't know why, but we do! SpongeBob! We have to get him off there before my favorite show starts! Think your puny plane can dislodge me? Okay, Clanton! You're stomping around and climbing up things and You'll never knock me down! My purse is as stable as my mind! There's no stopping me! That's it! Just one more to go, and Bikini Bottom is safe! Heating up, the starfish is bravely battling on, but the plankton is getting closer. And we'll be back after these messages. Goodness, I wonder if it's meatloaf night tonight. 
tonight. Go starfish, go starfish, go starfish man! Ow, my Night tonight. You can't outsmart me. I've got a college education. Can our brave hero really overcome this thing? I'm gonna crush this place. Go best with a starfish man. Give up, starfish man. Like this army is unstoppable. I never learned, do I? It's time for me to execute a new strategy. Plan B. Two. Welcome to tonight's live edition of World's Greatest Rooftop Encounter. Tonight on the show, When Plankton Go Big. Come on, Starfish Man. You need the power of the sponge. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
News just in. The plucky starfish <laughs> is making his final stand against the colossal might of the. Do you mind? We're trying to have a titanic battle here. Sorry, we'll try and keep it down. I'm glad you finally got here, starfish man. Now, this is the shrink of fire ray. The trouble is, it keeps disappearing down these hatches. It's mighty annoying. When you do catch up with it, just charge it up and fire. Oh my god, hell is I've got to go into my dinner time. They're serving heat loaf. You can do it, starfish man. And you say that you have... You join us at the mind-bending carnival raceway for what promises to be an unusual race. It all looks perfectly normal to me, Rick. He asked 
What's the strangest race you ever watched? I'd say without a shadow of a doubt, it might be this one. Well, I can't disagree with you there. Hey, check out my wheels, man. <laughs> SpongeBob, you're in my dream! I'm not going to disappoint you, pal, but it's definitely my dream. <laughs> wow, Plankton, nice hovercraft. Where did he get a hovercraft? It's my dream. That means I get to beat you! Sorry, Plankton, but Plankton, this dream is all mine. Hey, now, you think that SpongeBob can pull it off again? I think that Spud can do anything, Rick. He's a modern-day superstar. Plankton, what are you doing in my head? My subconscious sure likes Octopi. Octopussy? a dream after all. What a vivid imagination I have. Now to get you back to the Krusty Krab where you belong. We want Krabby Patties. Yeah, where's our food? Huh? Sorry I'm late. Stay